For businesses along Roosevelt Avenue and Queens, the expansion of a business improvement district means higher operating costs. We're already paying too much taxes. Uh, we get taxed on every cent, every dollar that we make. The expansion was proposed in September as part of Councilwoman Julissa Ferreras's New Deal for Roosevelt Avenue. If passed, property owners will pay as much as $900 a year to the district. Business owners critical of the plan created the Roosevelt Avenue Community Alliance. They say the district only adds services that the city should already provide. I think the city has a responsibility because we all pay taxes and it's a lot of taxes that we pay. If approved, the district would expand from 82nd Street to 104th Street along Roosevelt Avenue, including 800 new businesses. For these businesses, the district's improvements could raise property values which for tenants could mean higher rents. And what some fear is that higher rents will force out small businesses and make way for big retailers. These stores, they say, will not benefit the neighborhood's large immigrant community. All these little mom and pop shops that are providing all these products and services to the Hispanic market, they'll be gone out of business. But those in favor of the expansion say that people shouldn't be worried about being priced out of the neighborhood. I don't go along with that way of thinking that making improvements in a neighborhood is, uh, is going to lead to gentrification, which will lead to uh, displacement. I think it actually strengthens uh, the network and the, you know, the community. Proponents also say this plan will keep Roosevelt Avenue from losing customers to the competition. And to do that, you need to have a cleaner, safer, more inviting commercial corridor. Business owner Monica Calderon welcomes the proposed services, including improved security. She says illegal activity, including the sale of fake IDs and prostitution, make it harder for the accounting firm she runs. You know, it concerns me because I have this going on throughout the whole day and you know people are kind of reluctant to come to my office because of where I'm located. While some welcome the improvements, the Community Alliance fears that these changes will become a trend throughout the city. So that's you know my main my main worry that we're gonna lose this part of uh, New York City as it is. The 82nd Street Partnership will send a final proposal to city leaders early next year. It's then up to City Council and the mayor to decide Roosevelt Avenue's fate. Jacob Passy, Jackson Heights.